What are you um? What are you taping? Just getting footage. Oh, it's like just about the building. Or yeah. Any specific reason? Just getting content for a story. What kind of story? It's well, it's not published yet, so I'm not gonna divulge what it is. What's your name, badge number? So it's Sergeant Frank Leon. Thank you. What's your uh, badge number? Seven thirty-eight. Thank you. Okay, you got it. You got ID on you? Yeah. No. Yeah. We need ID. We need ID for a First Amendment protected activity. It's actually a security issue. Security issue? Yeah, you're videotaping the police station. I'm getting caught. I'm a journalist getting content for a story. Hello YouTube, and on today's episode of Know Your Rights, we will be covering a video from the YouTube channel, Northeast Auditor. Please take a moment and go over and check out his YouTube channel and show him some love by subscribing to his channel. Before we break down this footage, I want to take a moment and talk to you about We The People University. If you haven't heard about this online course, I want to let you in on a little secret. Its sole purpose is to train you to know what it takes to make sure you are not unfairly treated by the police ever again. Who better to teach you what to do when the police try to search you or your property illegally or violate any of your constitutional rights than former police officer and sheriff's deputy Abaya Israel. Learning your basic rights is an easy process. The only thing it takes is you being willing to learn. Do you want to learn all the trick questions that police ask during a traffic stop? Do you want to take back control from the police? If so, please click on the link in the description below. You will learn the secret of taking control of your constitutional rights back from the tyrants who abuse the law. Now let's get into today's video. Today's video took place on October 30th, 2018 in front of the Waterbury Police Department in Waterbury, Connecticut. The auditor was walking around the perimeter of the police department filming when he was approached by Sergeants Frank Leone and Matt Binot. What ensues is the officers demanding the auditor's ID based on nothing other than it being suspicious that a man is videotaping the police department. Now, let's dive right into today's video and break down this footage. What are you, um, what are you taping? Just getting footage. Oh, it's like just about the building? Or yeah. Any specific reason? Just getting content for a story. What kind of story? It's, well, it's not published yet, so I'm not going to divulge what it is. What's your name and badge number? So, it's Sergeant Frank Leon. Thank you. What's your uh, badge number? 738. Thank you. Okay, you, got a, you got ID on you? Yeah. No. Yeah, we need ID. We need ID. For a First Amendment protected activity? Well, it's actually a security issue. Security issue? Yeah, you're videotaping the police station. I'm getting caught. I'm a journalist getting content for a story. Which is fine, so you'd have no problem then giving us... Why would ID? I have to give you my ID for performing a legal activity? How do we know it's legal? How do we I'm know on a, I'm on a, I'm on a public not, sidewalk. How do we know you're not planning on blowing up the building? Uh, shooting up I mean, the building. I have no ill will, if that's what you're asking. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, that's, okay. a, that's the beauty of the Constitution. You don't need to know that, right? Um, I'm filming in a public... Okay, and we're legally asking you for your ID. And, and that, is that, that's a lawful order? That is lawful Are you order. sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. This question comes up a lot on whether a state is a stop and ID state or not a stop and ID state. In short, Connecticut is not a stop and ID state. This means that police would not usually have the right to demand ID from you. That means they could not arrest or detain you should you fail to produce identifying documents when asked. This auditor was walking on a public sidewalk around the perimeter of the police department and never went inside the police department or any restricted areas. So he is under no legal obligation to show IDs to these officers. Well, I'm not gonna provide my ID. Okay. There's no reason I haven't performed any illegal act. I'm on a public sidewalk, as you can see. Yes, filming the police department. Yeah. It's supposed to be secure. We don't want people coming here and shooting This is a public up. building. Yes. Yes. Yes, that, that, and there is very public. public. It's, it's a pub public. It's we, a public. We own this building. Not a public building. You well, the sergeant just made a completely false statement. Your right to access government owned property can be limited, but if the general public is permitted to access only certain areas 
or for certain limited purposes, your right to access the property for news gathering purposes is similarly limited. For example, some parts of a courthouse are open to the general public, but portions of the courthouses themselves are accessible only by the parties in the litigation and judges' chambers are completely off-limits to the public. Similar restrictions can be placed on police stations, but in general, since the building itself is owned by the government, the police station is considered a public building. This is not a public you building? In, you can't go in and walk around. In the lobby? Like in the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah. You're allowed in the this lobby. is a public building. I'm filming from an outside on a public space. You can allow the video tape the police station. You most certainly can. No, you not can actually. Uh, you most, I'm a thousand percent sure you can film anywhere outside. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I am. You're sure about that as well? Yep. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to provide my ID. I haven't performed any illegal activity. Can you articulate a crime I've committed or? Reasonable suspicion. Uh, yeah. of, of what crime? Reasonable, I don't know if you're about to blow up the building, if you're setting clients. Well, can you articulate a crime I've committed? You're videotaping security areas of the police That's department. not a crime. So I'm going to need you to let me know what Reason crime I've committed. Reasonable suspicion. You do not have to commit a crime. Okay, am I being detained right now or am I yes. free to go? Yes, you're being okay, detained. Okay, what, under what suspicion of what crime? Reasonable suspicion. I don't know. Are you why sure about here. this? I'm positive. Okay. So this uh, is going to go I would I would ask for a supervisor to come out at this point because okay yeah, so that's well, well provide identification or not I'm not providing any identification right. I've done so nothing wrong. Your back being okay that's fine I'm gonna hold the camera yeah. please don't turn it off thank you I don't have my license on me so ultimately the officers arrest Northwest Auditor and charge him with a misdemeanor interfering with an officer which is covered under Connecticut Penal Code. 53A-167A. It states, a person is guilty of interfering with an officer when such person obstructs, resists, hinders, or endangers any peace officer. Northwest Auditor had to fight this in court for nearly two years, and the case was finally thrown out on May 21st, 2021. What are your thoughts on why it took the courts nearly two years to throw this case out? Let me know in the comments below. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please take a moment and head over to Northwest Auditor's YouTube channel and show him some love by subscribing to his channel. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have a video that you would like me to break down, please send it to me at knowyourrightsnews at gmail.com. The link is in the description below. Until next time, YouTube, you stay safe out there.